On the AC treadmills, there are two codes that can come up, either check speed system or check motor system. These codes are basically the same. They don't give you a whole lot of detail as to what it means. It's more like a check engine light on a car, and you'll need to delve in and get a little more information on what exactly the failure was. In order to determine uh, what the more details are, you're going to have to go into the last error list to get the DFR code. To do that, you're going to press 0, 2, then OK, and that'll get you in the maintenance mode. From there, you can press the elevation down key until you see it say last error list. Once it says that, press OK. The last air list, what it does is it'll capture the information at the time of the air. And the main thing we want to find is that DFR code. The DFR code is more specific. It'll give you more detail of exactly what the failure was. Once you get into the last air list, if you hit one of the numbers, it'll bring up one of the sets. It'll say last code 1, which is set 1 and then you'll see the number 9 here and that's the actual code that occurred. This doesn't mean it's the actual the last code, it is just set 1. We strongly recommend that you go on to the customer service website and download the last air list. On the last page of the technical document there is a worksheet here that where you can document and write down all the different codes. You'll see on the bottom it also has information, uh, pending numbers and things like that that'll explain what the code is. In the example we just showed you, it was a 9, and in this case it says fuse bits error. Fill out the sheet, and then you'll have all your information. Using the worksheet, go through all the last error list sets and document them on the page. This will make the job a lot easier. The key setting that we're looking for is for the last DFR code. In the example that we have here, you'll see there's a bunch of zeros before the one. What you'll want to do is ignore those zeros, and we're looking at a 1000 DFR code. In order to effectively troubleshoot a check speed system or check motor system, you must get the DFR code first. Any troubleshooting that you do without a DFR code will just be guesswork. Also understand that these DFR codes are only on the AC drive machines. It will no, not be on a DC drive machine. In the case of it, treadmills with embedded touchscreens on them, you'll get an error code 40. This is the same thing as a check speed system or a check motor system. The only difference is we do not have a last error list to re reference in order to troubleshoot this one. And we're going to need to go down to the motor control board. To determine what the DFR code is, you'll need to check the MCB. You'll notice that the lights here are blinking. What we'll need to do is wait for it to pause and then we're going to count the number of blinks until the next pause. There's the pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, and there's the pause. So that DFR code was 13 blinks.